ready to watch a mind-blowing transformation of a library room from like ah, such an old library to like oh my god it looks so magnificent then keep watching hi guys i'm april and this is my diy channel we bought this house in the summer and i'm currently renovating it by myself while raising two kids and a puppy this is the someone just flushed the toilet <laughs> excuse me for the sound this is my library and i want it dark and super moody Ooh. So if you're wondering like what happens if you just paint acrylic paint on top of the oil based paint, this what happens. It basically doesn't hold, doesn't stick at all. And considering that there's going to be kind of like a high used area with books and everything, I feel, yeah, it has to be like primed first. And for the windows, I'm going to be using the masking liquid so I don't have to tape off all the windows. And plus, yeah, if I'm going to be spray painting, so I don't want it to be all over the, the glass, right? It's done and now it's so dark in here. I also have a slight feeling that uh, one can of uh, primer is not going to be enough for the whole room and all the shelves. But um, we'll see. Ugh. Ugh. You smell that, Max? That's actually shit. I probably should be wearing the mask for this. Oh. So for this project, I decided to try a professional spray painter. What does it mean? It means that I had to prime it first. It was such an annoying step, but it had to be absolutely done. Otherwise, you know, like the paint wouldn't stick to the oil-based paint and it would be like a disaster. Oh my God. I mean, I do regret to paint the whole thing with a roller because there was really challenging uh but i was worried that my paint spray intern gonna like start clogging but yeah basically next time i'm gonna definitely try to uh to do the to use primer for the spray painter i i you can, you can see i mean like i even lost my words it's go crazy because it's been quite a challenge and it smells so bad. Oh my God. I don't know how we're gonna be sleeping in here tonight. Whoa. On a positive note though, look at this masking tape. The masking liquid dried up and now it looks like this. And it's completely like sealed. The glass is sealed. So then you basically cut it out. I mean, that's what, at least what it says. And uh, take it off. But here i mean like it you can't even see it on camera but it's all primed one thing that i learned from this experience is that i'll be damned if i ever gonna try again to use a roller for the primer every nook and cranny that was so painful i mean extremely painful and it was so smelly and oh my god and i'm not gonna lie i didn't come back to this project for probably a month after this in the high science, that's probably a good thing though, right? Because you know, like the primer had a chance to cure and uh, when I put the color on top, it lay down perfectly. It took me some time to choose the right perfect blue color and I eliminated my choices to six colors. The color that I chose is by Bear and it's called like English Channel. Also, if you want to know all the details and sources for this library, you can find it on my blog that I have it handy with all the links. I mean, the links are affiliate, but you know what? You want to help your fellow creator, right? So yeah, so go check it out my blog and uh, yeah, press on those links. Click. Okay, so now let me rave about the spray painter. I use Graco spray painter and oh my God, it works like a dream. The pros of this spray painter is that like the painting process goes so quickly. Oh my God. Isn't it joyful? The sound of it. So this is the mood board for this room. I wanted to make it dark blue, very moody, have some leather in it, and like overall have some sort of like a speakeasy vibes. 
To do, make the contrast, I used two sheen of the paints. So the ceiling and the walls painted with matte finish and the shelves itself and the trim, uh, I painted with the eggshell. So you know, like after I painted this library, I've discovered that a lot of you actually don't like the look of the ceiling paint in the same color as the room. And you know what? Here comes the hate comments. If you hate it so much, I mean, I would really encourage you to just like leave a comment how much you hate it and what you hate about it. And uh, you know what? Yeah, it's probably gonna hurt my feelings, but um, yeah, I would love to know your opinion. After I finished painting the room, it was time to see how the masking liquid performed. And you know, it exceeded all my expectations. The only thing I wish I did differently is to apply another layer on the top, uh, since as you can see, in some places, especially in the corners, it was difficult to take off. But other than that, this thing is just awesome. Highly recommend if you don't want to tape off everything with the masking tape. And then I started decorating. So I unpacked my beloved books, I organized them, and oh my god, it was already looking so, so, so amazing. Just look at this. Oh my god, all the books in the row, in those blue bookshelves, it looks absolutely fantastic. Oh my god. Ah! At this point, I was like getting so excited to see the final result. So I had to get like some sort of like a uh, centerpiece for this um, for this library and I decided to use this painting. Uh, I had this painting for a while uh, and it actually was a present from my dad when I finished musical school. So it's very, very dear to me. But unfortunately this painting was not stretched because when I brought it, I had to leave the stretcher behind. So I brought on the frame and the painting itself. I had to make a new stretcher, but that was easy. And of course, as usual, I have a tutorial how to make it on my blog. I simply used the crack jig uh, to make the stretcher and and uh, yes, I know that there's a lot of different ways to make the stretcher, but you know like what? If it's behind the canvas, so like who cares if it's used with a crack jig or it has like a perfect miter corners. No one cares. I mean, at least I don't. When I was done building the stretcher, I used my heavy duty staple to uh, staple the canvas to the stretcher. And it's a relatively easy process, just make sure to keep the painting very tight so it's not going to be like saggy in the end. Okay, now the moment to X. Will it fit or will it not? Let's see. I thrifted this beautiful round table from Facebook Marketplace, and if you don't shop there, you are definitely missing out. At first I had these brown leather cherries, but they were so, so, so not right for this place, and they were kind of like a bit underwhelming, if you ask me. So I ordered new chairs, I was waiting for them for three months, but they finally arrived, and I was so, so happy, because these chairs, they kind of like bring my whole idea and my whole mood board together, and I mean, I just don't have any words. Oh my god, I cry. I love this room so much. Guys, I absolutely love this room. It's everything that I wanted it to be. Uh, it's moody, it's sophisticated, it gives you speak easy vibes. It's overall just like perfection. Of course, I have a lot of things that I want to add there. So like make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button. So to be notified when I'm posting new videos because uh, more projects are coming. And uh, yes, I'm gonna definitely like continue working on this room because it's not done yet. I mean, is there like a, such a thing as uh, being done with the room. Okay, so are you ready to see the final result? Yay!
posts on Instagram, like my progress. So yes, follow me on Instagram at if only April. I definitely need to get a rug for this room as well. And also, I'm not so sure about the curtains because I kind of feel at the moment they feel a bit underwhelming. Uh, and I was thinking, should I go with the dark blue velvet to make it like absolutely monochrome and yes, absolutely stunning. Like, ugh. like, oh my God, to take it to the whole new level. So let me know in the comments what you think about curtains. I would really appreciate your help and your insight on uh, this matter. And uh, yes, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm really happy to be back. And you know what? Uh, subscribe, hit the notification button. There's definitely more projects to come. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm really happy to be back. And uh, yes, uh, oh my God, damn it. <laughs> Come on. Come on.